Welcome back, everybody, to the darkest of souls. That motherfucker has the key we need. So. I was like, what's the point of him? That's the point of him. Get the key. That sucked. But. Did I read it right? Is there another fragrant breath of your... I don't need that stuff, though. So, yeah. So, we're just going to go through here because I found out that the merchant here sells one. Which is awesome. So, we're going to come in here. I'm going to say bye-bye. Aha! Alright, whatever. I'll take the hit that didn't even register on my character. Is he following me? Doesn't seem so good. Well, not incense, no. Buy item. Fragrant branch of your boom. Also, hey, let's get some fire paper. Um. Cheers. Can hear you. I don't want to kill him because he sells some useful stuff. Uh, so we're just gonna. Oh no, is it just? We're just gonna go back. And and do the thing. So what we'll have to do? Okay, I got it. Kind of. Let's find out. Travel. Shaded woods. Drink water. Stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. It's good stuff. So how do I get back to him again? Bum bum bum. I guess I could try this now. Oh no, there's an easier way over here. Right? Right? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there is. Ah! Let's do that. Boom. Snailed it. So I think the other one where I was like, oh, this guy's blocking a chest. I believe that chest contains a fragrant batch of yore, but I'm not sure if that's just in Scholar, so I'm not really in the mood to risk the one we have, if I'm being completely honest. So, and the thing you would, it, it would also, I know for a fact that thing had, that place has, um, the lion's guardian, the uh, lion warrior armor, which, like I said before, is caster gear. So, not really interested. Oh, that, that uh, frog thing was a one-time spawn. Interesting. Ah! And get away. And get away. Un okay, undo the thing. That's fine-ish. Ish. As long as they're not following me. Good, they're not. Okay. 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 Good talk, guys. Let's go see about burst weapons. Use the thing key. Hold on, hold on. Ha! Ah, there's another one. Got it. Ooh, Estus Flash Shard. I didn't know that. Ooh, and a uh, Dark Knight Stone. Cool. Thank you for helping me. I am Onifex. I owe you some form of thanks, but have nothing for you at the moment. Butt cheeks. If it would not trouble you. She lives right Thank down the road. You. I believe that I can be of assistance if you would visit me at my home. Thank you. I believe. Damn right, you'll be of assistance. So, she is the other boss wep boss weapons uh, NPC. Fuck! What is the durability on that thing? Twenty five? Are you joking? Jesus. Well, I accidentally touched that yellow shit in the ground, which, well, broke the, the ring. That amazing ring. So, we're going to go back to Majula and repair that ring, because I want those stats. Uh, one of the main reasons I play offline, by the way, in this game, unless I'm just trying to do co um, jolly cooperation, is because people will often hack in this game, and they will come in with... Um, gear breaking spells and literally just break your shit and it's a pain in the ass and it, it just pisses me off uh reinforced weapon so close one more girl do you sell chunks yet you've been 
well. Yeah, I've been gone for a long time. Sell chunks now? Damn it. Do I have to, like, progress her dialogue? You see him, yeah. Uh-huh, you were born. A stone shore. Oi! Oi, have some manners. Fuck you. Oh, wow, we have two Estus Flash Shards? That's awesome. I wonder how many levels we'll get, like, one? <laughs> we probably need a ton at this point to level up. Um, Smelter Demon, we're keeping that. Scorpion. Nak. Nashka. Only 8,000? Ew. Is that, a that is... No, that's two however. shards I'm carrying. So give me two more Estus Flasks. I don't like that it says Estus Flash Strengthened. It's not strengthened. It... Multiplied. I need, oh, wow, we we'll got two levels, okay. So 83 or 82? 83, duh. 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 And did I pick up another Sublime Bone Dust, or is it just I wanted to? Okay. Um. And that's it. Okay, now we can go back. And simply progress, I think. Yeah, I never figured out what it was I wanted to do in the last episode. So, going to keep on keeping on. <gasps> I remember now. We'll do that when we get to the next bonfire. Awesome. I remembered. And it has to do with the black gooch. No gracias. No gracias. I was gonna say something, I just forgot, I mind blinked. Wow. Embarrassing! Not really, it's what it is. You guys are used to those awkward silences. But yeah, once you kill the boss, you cannot get that item up there. And like I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure it's a flame butterfly. That might just be in Scholar, but it might be in both, or I could just be wrong for both. I don't really know. Also, Barros. Any day now. Come on, game. Don't need this loading hallway. Pharos. Yeah, doors of Pharos. There's a schnitzel ton of them in here. Um, I should probably have researched which ones to actually use. These are the elephant boys. They're okay. Again, never done a build with this kind of weapon, so it's actually doing quite well. Mastodon Grey Shield. That was nice. That's a dwarf up there. He can go suck his own nut. A prism stone. Well, actually, ten. Ooh, hey. <gasps> Mimic! Fucking knew it! Dark leggings and the black scorpion stinger. Sounds cool. Dark scorpion stinger. Ha! Ah! Yeah, fuck you, sir. That was rude. And that old mundane stone. It's mine now. Scorpion Stinger. Man Scorpion Tark's Thrusting Sword? Scorpion Pierce Pincer Guard contains poison. Wait, what is this? It's a thrusting sword. Oh, hey. Oh, it's a rapier. Gotcha. Let me guess. Has poison on it? It does. Wow, a lot of poison, too. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. But we're going to stick to our mirror greatsword. So, I remembered what I wanted to do. Because that key we got a long time ago, or recently, um... There was... Oh, how do I say this? When we did the falling down, when we beat the the giants, we got a key. But, before that, there was another um, door. And that means we have a nu turd nugget. No! 
Now, what are you? Go away. I just have to remember. Oh shit! Shit! Hand demons! Hand! Fuck me! <laughs> oh, slow down, soul. Slow down. As Ozzy says, slow down. You're moving way too fast. Slow down. You know we'll never last. Slow down. Your haste is making waste. Slow down and join the human race. I never said all of his lyrics were good. To the contrary, he has a lot of weird ass lyric songs that I'm just like, really? You're the Prince of Darkness? Okay. Ha! Anywho, um, let's see how my aim is. Pretty good! Pretty solid! Stay in there and die, please. Grazie. Stop being douchebags. Ah, oh, shit, there's that many of them? Of course there is. Mm. It's just annoying. Not what I meant to do, but okay. Still kind of works. Yes! Now! Jumping, going. Don't like it. What am I doing? What am I doing? Besides being a complete idiot. <sighs> Can I buy fire arrows from anybody? I don't know. I really don't know. Anything in here? No. How about that one? Oops. No. Damn it. Um. Aha! No! Go away! Anything? Nothing? Okay, good. Turd nuggets. Damn it! It's rude to spit. I teach children to not spit because it's nasty. Okay, I clearly see the one in there. Don't miss. I almost did, but I didn't. And that's what matters. I did not. I did not lease to this bullshit. Yeah! Take that. Okay, let's um, get you dealt with. Whoa! Steven, relax your face. You shouldn't just try to push people all the time. I think this is it? Looks like it. Mm, yeah. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the door I wanted to get to. Used forgotten key. So I know where all of them are now. And this is number two for this guy. Young undead. We meet young undead. May we... Maybe. And the last iteration of him is kind of far away. Like, in the game. Like, we, we're not there yet. So, it'll just be a little while till we actually do his thing. But, you know, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, now, let's go to the other one, which is at the gutter. Yes. And I think it's where we get Havel stuff. From Dark Souls 1, Havel. Um, I think. So we need to go to that. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Can I make this jump? Uh, yes! Just barely. 
Give me a torch? Yeah! God, I'm so cool. I don't know how you guys handle my wonder and glory and eggs. I don't know. I got nothing. Ah, oh, poop. Used forgotten key. <laughs> yeah, fuck this place. Something hard and sandpapery. Uh, drink. Where I die. Havels, great shield, helm, armor, gauntlets, and leggings. If you watched my Dark Souls 1 stream that came out around December of 2019, you'll know we used those leggings. Really good defense. Like, if it's like the last game, it's going to be the best defense in the game. And I believe it's really great um, uh, fire resist. It's pretty good. <gasps> fire resist. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's not that heavy, comparatively speaking. Pavels. That would be a worthwhile look about. And then the last one is actually in Majul. Well, kind of in Majul. It's... We got to go down um, the well. Timmy's in the well. Do I have it on? I do not. So let's put on the cat ring. I do think you take more damage based off the weight in which you are loaded with, but I can't be bothered. I'm lazy. Where? The net. All right. Shut oh, yeah. your mouth. Hold on. And it is at this point that, just like last episode, I forget to unmute myself. So, let's go through this. I was looking at his items and saying that, hey, if you were to buy these items uh, back when we originally found this guy at Earth and Peak, they would have been a little cheaper. And then also I looked at that bloody water stuff. I was like, oh, it actually gives my weapon the bleed property. I thought it would, like, prevent or cure bleed were I to accrue it. Uh, but... It's apparently not the case, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to just kind of react as we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm jumping down the well, as you can obviously see. And I look right here. Oh, shit. I went to the wrong side. So you know what? I'll just go to the bonfire at the Grave of Saints. Go back to Majula and jump down again because we're not really fussed at all about, you know, Nothing bad happened. It's not like it's a really long thing. And if at the worst case scenario, I could have used a homeward boner. Because those things are helpful. I need to buy a few more, I think. But I think I've got still like eight or nine at the moment. So it's not really a huge issue. Uh, but we're just going to go down again. Now, see, I could talk to the guy and he could build ladders for me. That would reach directly where I'm trying to go. But I don't really feel like paying him money. So I'd rather just jump down. I already paid like 13 grand for the cat ring. So why would I do any why would i waste any more money getting down this well um but what i'm going to detail here is actually kind of cool because i didn't fully know normally when i play skull of first sin i come up here and i actually get a key to go to a dlc that i never really go to but you get it anyways however in this one you all saw at the beginning of the let's play we are gifted the keys to the dlc right away but there are three chests in here one has a sorcery right here, which I believe is Soul Vortex, which makes like a, well, a little whirlwind of souls that attacks enemies. It's kind of cool. In here, we'll get both a Sorcerer's Catalyst and a uh, Miracle Chime thing. So I'm going to show here that like one is a staff kind of weapon. The other is a chime. Uh, the branch, which is right there, the Witch Tree branch, which is uh, for sorceries and hexes, and then the Belvine, which is uh, for hexes and miracles. And then here we will get, I go, oh, this is really cool because we got a, a sorcery and we got a miracle here. We got the great lightning arrow, which is pretty fucking strong pre-nerf. I don't know if this has the patch to undo the nerf, but, you know, it's kind of cool that, you know, those are our 
And if they give us two things, I don't know the scaling or anything of those items because I've never used them before, but after we do this Let's Play, I'm sure we'll stream the game at some point to where I could do a Hex or Sorcery or a Miracle Run. So, you know, in the future, we might see these things uh, basically based off of what you guys want to see. But from looking at my thing, it looks like I'm about to notice that I'm not recording. So um, watch my face and I'm be like, shut of a bitch. So, guys, see you there. And I never unmuted myself after coughing. Son of a bitch. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I mean, with this game, I can't just redo it. That sucks. You've been long. Well. I've been doing that a lot lately. It's really upsetting me. Not gonna lie. Um, no interest. So that sucks. But it happens. It happens. Alrighty. Um. See, see, let's. Hmm. Where to now? One. Oh wow, awesome! Two points of damage. What I like though is we still have two um, levels of well ranking our. Oh, I don't have a slab yet. Interesting. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to things of Twixt and. Oh, you don't need a Fragrant Branch of Yore in this version of the game. Awesome. So we need to... First, we need to go back over here and kill something I should have killed a long time ago. Um, the item you get from it's actually pretty good. I don't know if it's something I'm going to use at this point, but what it does is it's a ring that increases the amount, the amount of poise damage you do. So basically, easier stagger. Um... I thought we came over here, but I guess not. Give me a butt! Mm hmm. Thank you. That works too. He's very killable in the beginning, but he's also annoying. Oh, shit. Yep, he's eating my head. Thanks. Let me, let me go. Thanks. That was awfully rude of you. HP like yeah <sighs> gotcha yeah stone ring so it would make us do more poise damage so for the time being let's actually use it because I didn't like that we weren't able to poise damage poise break sorry the um, lion boys Fuck, I don't know how long I was muted for and that bothers me well, I'll just have to um, go over the video and I guess do like voiceover. So, it'll be weird, but it's better than nothing. Now we need to go through this whole area and come on, baby, light my fire. We have two hours of torch time. So, we're fine. We're going to be good. Gonna be good. Oh, did I already go through? Did I light as I went through here? Wait, did I? Nope. Did not. Just did the outside stuff. Darn. So I believe something happens if you light everything. So we'll go do this. And this will make it just kind of a filler episode, but since this game's not like horrifically story driven, I wouldn't really call it a filler episode. It's just different stuff fun stuff in my opinion um hell we can go do tra the transgender um coffin if we want there's a coffin that changes or not i guess um not transgender but um gender changing coffin but that's why in the very beginning of this lesson i was like yeah this game kind of has a concept of transgender it's really cool you can change your gender and whatever um You're here. And you're dead. Oh, we have a bunch of things we can drop for Snuggly and whatever their name is. But first, let's do this. And then we'll do this kind of as a placeholder. And there we go. Because the goal is right there with the ogre things 
But let's also drop a bunch of schnitzel and see if uh, maybe ooh, we could get a slab. Because we do have a petrified something, which is like the best thing to drop. You, you. Give, Give us smooth. Please. Yes, Only do one at a time, though, or else it will not work. I believe I covered that in the beginning. What? Son of a bitch. Don't even know what that does. Damn it. Oh, well. Yeah. Yes, yes. Soul of Lost and Dead. Human effigy. Shut up! Amber Herb. Petrified Dragon Bone. That's solid. And Demon's Great Hammer. I think we can actually... No, we're not a strength build, so I don't think we can use that. Let's see. Where are you? Oh, there you are. 50. Holy schnitzel. That's a lot. That's asking for a lot. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come on down here. Well, come on down south, but I'm gonna have myself time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Something like that. It's been a long time since I've heard it. Um, but I don't go through here often, so I don't actually remember where things are. Just assume they're gonna die easily. Yep. I believe that's an amber herb, so I'm not going to even go get it because we don't use spells. Oh, I thought I saw an enemy over there. <laughs> I was like, what? I was befuddled. Okay, take you out. Surprise, bitch! Um, through here should be cracked red eye orbs. I think. Just one. Okay. Still good. Um, so it kind of like sets you up for PvP if you want to. Like this whole fog area in the beginning and things with Twix is basically just a tutorial and a setup place. Um, just kind of gets you going where you want to go. Let's do that. And we shall come on down here. Light that one. Did I light you over there? Did not, but that's okay. I'll do it in a minute. And a few. Yeah, in Skull of First Sin, that is blocked off by a dude that requires a fragrant branch of yore, which, in my opinion, is just annoying. Like, they just went crazy with the amount of fragrant branches of yore you need. Um, and I'm learning that through the lack of how many I need in this playthrough. It's kind of wonderful. No one's down there? Oh, okay. Hey. In Scholar, there are three of those big googly-eyed frog things. So, also, I mean, that's they that's what they really seem to just do. is just added more and more and more enemies to where it's just like, hmm. But I will say in Scholar, there is a uh, shard, Estus Flash shard down there. So, it's pretty nice. Um, let's go through here this to light so the short we have a dude to kill and then we have a shortcut to unlock so now we can just you know go across because sponsor and we shall light this one so the last one will be up that road thingy um is it only one or are there two of you is there one around the corner Nope, there's just more in Scholar. What else is new? Thank you. Oh, shit, there's two. There's two. I really don't want to fight two of them at the same time, to be honest. Ogres are nasty. That's decent. That's decent. And it's going to be one-on-one -on -one in just a moment. Got him. Awesome. Like a possum. So what you can also do is you can um, fish out a certain thing from them. Let's see if I can show it off. Ha-ha! And that's how most people will kill them from what I've noticed is... They'll fish out the butts. And so it's just another show me your butt! 
gun. Um, so yeah, get into this coffin and you will swap genders. I don't know how it decides what you look like. Um, my guess is it's just the same settings and same numbers, but I think it changes your hair. And male and female characters can have the same hair in this game, so I don't know. I don't know. But I think it attacked once we light every fire. Let's find out. Nothing? It's possible I missed one, but I don't think I did. Again, that could just be a scholar thing. Could just be a scholar of the first sin thing. I'll actually have to look that up. Because I'm curious about that. Did I maybe miss one in here? Because I was kind of going quick. No. Let's get the amber herb while we're here. Two of them, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe there's just no reason for it in this uh, version of the game. Which, if that's the case, is a little sad. Because that would just be a really cool mechanic. It's a cool little addition. Huh. I got it, got it. Hold it. Oh, well. Yes, there's nothing. But hey, we got that stuff done, so that's cool. That's pretty cool. Is there really nothing down here, though? Nothing, nothing. Yeah, okay. I guess there's no combat for that. That's unfortunate. Because, yeah, you get invaded by... um. You know, one of those red NPCs uh, in Scholar once you light everything. So I guess I should say in Scholar you are limited to once you get a Fragrant Branch of Yore, which is later. And in all this, we could have completed this whole thing. But I guess there is one re reward. It's not for lighting all the torches or sconces, whatever you want to call them. Uh, but we can get the ultimate weapon in the game now. You have proven yourself to the forest. Yep. We have little to offer. Yep. May they bring fortune. Best weapon in the game. 1010. Recommend. Handmade ladle, an ordinary kitchen ladle. He who chooses this as a weapon either faces extenuating circumstances or has an odd sense of humor. If the one if you care for your life, leave this one in the kitchen. Yep, we're not. I mean, it's actually a terrible weapon. Um, I have watched people do entire runs with it. You know, the the infamous ladle runs, and who they're slow. They're slow. But in the next episode is when we'll finish going or start going through the Pharos area, um, and that'll be nice. So I haven't been to that place in. A long time more than a year or two so it'll be kind of um, newish to me ish if sunish because obviously memories will start to come back as we go I think um, and I don't see myself using the smelter sword so we're just not going to and I want to say this gives you a spell I don't recall I don't recall. I don't think we can get a level up either. But let's check anyways, just real quick. We're probably like 4,000 shy or something. 3,500. 3,700. I was close. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Dark Souls 2. I know it was a slight stranger one than normal. Uh, because we didn't really well. progress forward. We just kind of progressed no sideways. See. Is that really a thing? I knew you um, but yeah, 
You know, we should be fine. We should be fine. We'll start making leaps forward after this. Um, real quick though, do I want to upgrade anything? Maybe I'll upgrade my shield. How about that? Let's upgrade our shield. Uh, what does it do? Just increases... I guess if we block against magic and stuff, that'll be good, so... Oh, you're a twinkling titanite thing. Okay, cool, cool. Cool. Well, there we go. We've increased our ability to defend from magic by, like, a percent. It's something. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, but until next time, bye-bye for now. Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. If you wish to support me further, think about pledging to my Patreon or donating on Streamlabs during one of my weekly Saturday live streams, both of which have links in the description below. Join the Discord to stay up to date with all current and future projects, and make sure to like and subscribe as that's what I'm supposed to tell you as a YouTuber. But in all truthfulness, just thank you so much, and see you next time.